So far, so good. There's all of our channels. And we can imagine, right? Zip out over here. We're going to rearrange a bunch of this, so don't get too attached to this setup yet. So this could be an absolute path over here, right? There's Chan 1. I'm just going to go ahead and borrow that path. I'll copy that here. That's 2. That's 3. And da, 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 da. that's four. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I got my dimensions mixed up. 51, 20, 12, 80 times four. 51, 20, that's right. Five, one, two, zero. Who? Ah, let's grab all these and make sure they're 12, 80. There we are. Excellent. OK. So this is all well and good. Excellent. We still don't really see how we can take advantage of that calibration business yet. But you know, hopefully, you're trusting that we're going to get there. We're going to rearrange a little bit of this. But this is, this at least conceptually, is where we want to think about where we're going. Right? We've got these four output channels. I want to be able to derive the calibration for each of these independently. And what I would like to do is I would like to not use an individual stoner for each one of them. <sighs> OK, we're, we're almost uh, gearing up here. I'm going to go ahead and save my project. Let's check in on the file size here to see how we're doing. Where'd you go? Come back. Doot, doot. All right, five kilobytes so far. So good. Let's dive into our calibration here. We're going to add, add that stoner here. Let's open up the palette. Let's grab a stoner. Let's drag it into our project. Close the palette. And now we need to do a little bit of like careful thinking about how we want to use this here contraption to get what we want out of the world. I'm going to put it up here at the top. And I'm actually going to put it over on the left hand side. And I'm going to imagine that this is kind of like a um, kind of like a clone master, right? It's there's a bunch of stuff that we need to do with it and ways that we need to use it, but I don't want to actually put it into my pipeline for driving any of these displays. Instead, I'm going to add a base and let's call it calibration chan001. C-H-A-N-001. OK, great. I'm going to go ahead and out the gate, I'm going to make sure that this is set to the project. We can see it did a bunch of little cleanup, tidy up for us. I happen to know already that I want to use an anti-alias top. And then next, I want to make sure that I've got a null top that goes here also. All right, you guess Chan001. I'm going to follow that same convention. I also want to make sure that I've got a select, right? This is how we're going to you know, feed content into this goober over here. I'm going to back out. I'm going to dive into my assets. I'm going to go ahead and borrow my Chan1 over here. Excellent. We can see we've got a nice big pipeline for all this. I'm going to go ahead and create. There's our second, our third, our fourth. Depending on how you're working with your project, you could do this a ton of different ways. I'm going to go ahead and save. And we should see, I would expect, that our file size, sure as shooting text, has jumped up to 12 megs. So we, we went from 5K to 12 megs real fast. That's OK. We're going to see if we can't knock this back down in a little bit of time. Before we get too much further, let's pull out over here, head into calibration, pardon me, into output, and then make sure these are correctly uh, addressed. So we'll see, wait, we're all looking at Chan 1. Let's fix that up. Let's make sure we got Chan 2, Chan 3Z, DZ, Chan 4 Ruzi. And then let's map these over here. I'm going to go ahead and do an absolute path. I'm going to just borrow this. 
let's go into look. Oops, let's drop all that in there. And then we should be able to go to, wait, this is in assets. We didn't have the right path. Let's copy that to make sure we got the right one. There we go, okay. Calibration, null, two for channel two, three for channel three, four for channel four. I'm gonna save this project just to make sure we are keeping up with what we want it to look like. Okay, so far, so good. I'm gonna leave this part behind.